Hi, my name is Joe Corris, and I'm the Chief Operating Officer here at Southfield Public Schools. Today I'm going to read a book to you that happens to be my wife's favorite book. Uh, she was director of preschool at a school here in Birmingham. It's entitled Mitch and Moose, Sticky Business. So I hope you enjoy the book. Meet two jolly characters, Mitch and Moose. They just love snowy mornings. And here you see them. And this morning was the snowiest. We haven't had a lot of snow in Michigan here lately, but you can see the snow that they're out playing in. Mitch was the best at throwing snowballs. Moose made the biggest snow angels and together they built pretty good snowmen. As the weather grew colder and Moose's teeth began to chatter, they put on a big woolly scarves and sipped hot cocoa to stay warm. It was a perfect way to start the day, but not everyone was enjoying the snow. You see them with the snow angels and the snowmen and the snowballs. Spinner the spider didn't like perfect snowy days at all. She had spent her morning trying to stick her web onto a frozen hedge, a frozen gate, and a dozen frozen trees. But as hard as she tried, the web kept slipping off the frozen icy surfaces. So you can see all the places that Spinner was trying to uh, get her web to attach to. I have to find somewhere to stick my web, said Spinner, or I won't be able to catch any bugs to put in my soup. Mitch whispered to Moose, I say we help Spinner. It could be a great adventure. Moose agreed, let's go. So Mitch and Moose each took a piece of Spinner's web and set off to find a place where it would stick. Mitch tried a builder's wall, but it was too drippy. Moose tried a granny shawl, but it was too flippy. You can see the, the wall and the shawl. Mitch tried a robber's bag, but he quickly realized. Moose tried a pirate's flag, but the ship had capsized. Mitch tried a rhino's horn, but she was busy eating. Moose tried sweet popcorn, but it spilled on the seating. You can see the rhino and the popcorn. I love popcorn. Mitch tried a startled cat, but it started to yowl. Moose tried a fancy hat, but it made the man scowl. You see the cat? And the fancy hat. Mitch tried a wig in blue, but it was too floppy. Moose tried a giant shoe, but it was too stroppy. Mitch tried a genie's tum, but it was jiggly like jelly. Moose tried a witch's bum, but it was too smelly. Then Mitch tried a warm doorway and the web stuck fast. Mitch and Moose were delighted and gave each other a high five. Then suddenly, so finally they found a warm surface that it would stick to, it's on the back of a truck and the truck is driving away. Stop, they shouted, chasing after the truck. Help! What's happening is the spider is flying off the truck and the, the web would not stick once the truck started to move. Mitch and Moose were sad now. They hadn't been able to help Spinner. We're sorry, Spinner, said Moose, but there just isn't anywhere to stick your web. Then Mitch noticed Moose's shadow on the snow and began to smile. I have an idea. With Spinner's web securely stuck between Moose's giant antlers, Mitch, Moose, and Spinner sat in the snowy garden drinking hot cocoa, waiting for Spinner to catch the ingredients for her bug soup. So they found a place right on the antlers of the moose. Spinner's soup was full of juicy flies, fat bugs, and crunchy beetles that she'd caught in her lovely new web. 
Yuck. We hope you enjoyed this book. Mitch and Moose will be back in a new adventure soon. Goodbye for now, and see you then. The end. Thank you for listening.